escapade, NASA's next mission to Mars is on its way to deep space and will begin its journey to the red planet next year. Ironically, this space weather mission was slightly delayed on the launch pad because of, well, you guessed it, space weather. Multiple NASA satellites saw massive flares and eruptions known as coronal mass ejections coming from the sun. These coronal mass ejections evolved into the most intense geomagnetic storm of 2025. Satellites that power our communication systems also got an unfortunate bath of solar radiation that could have disabled the electronics on board. So due to this intense geomagnetic storm, we decided out of an abundance of caution to hold escapade until the space weather storm subsided. Of course, the obvious question is, why couldn't we have launched the space weather mission, well, into space weather? Right after that launch, the escapade went through a series of important checks with our team on the ground. It's a very sensitive time for the mission, and space weather could have impacted those initial communications, as well as the critical events like deploying the solar panels. NASA's heliophysics missions help us to model and improve our understanding of these major events. Those models were crucial in the decision process to delay the launch for escapade. And when escapade arrives at Mars, the mission will help us develop similar capabilities at Mars, which can protect future astronaut explorers and robotic space missions at the Red Planet. After the powerful geomagnetic storm subsided, we were able to confidently launch the twin escapade spacecraft, knowing that they would be safe from the extreme solar radiation as they powered on to begin their mission. So stay tuned for more escapade mission updates at www.nasa.gov escapade and go escapade.